a, a heads up on that. Um, so we had a lot of challenges with Alpha Protocol. Um, it was far more animation intensive uh, than previous titles. Uh, I will say that one challenge, uh, which ended up being a very good thing from a story and narrative perspective, is uh, we learned a lot more about how animation can cut down word count when it comes to introducing a plot or storyline. All the uh, facial expression animations, or just how the animations of how characters actually talk with, it, with each other, um, you no longer have to use text to actually explain someone's mood. The actual animations of the character and their facial expressions, along with the voice actor delivery, can cut down your word count dramatically, and that is ultimately a good thing, except for the animation department. Um, we also had a lot more interaction tracking in Alpha Protocol. Uh, we have far fewer characters in the game, but the actual consequences of how you treat each one ends up having much larger repercussions than our, than our earlier titles. Um, so as much as the previous examples of the previous three titles uh, dealt with uh, theme and character, um, this section of the presentation has much more to do with the actual game mechanics and game systems and how we're using those to reinforce the theme of the espionage, of the espionage genre. And we were also dealing with a brand new dialogue system uh, without the protocol. Uh, the, uh, the dialogue system itself uh, presents the player with a series of mood choices they can take, and all of the options are timed. So uh, there's very much more of a sense of immersion, uh, immer immersion and urgency in the choices you're making. It sort of gives that uh, there's no time feel that you generally get from watching a 24, 24 episode. The challenge was how exactly we're going to incorporate more game mechanic elements uh, into that dialogue system. And I'll showcase some of those elements now. So uh, on previous titles, uh, a lot of our conversations uh, were all set up to be a series of interrogations. Uh, what would happen is uh, you would encounter a brand new NPC, and then you would exhaust all of your response options to that NPC one by one, always looping back to a main question node, or usually looping back to a main question node. Uh, in Alpha Protocol, we wanted to avoid that. Uh, and we wanted the, uh, the dialogue system to actually match the theme of the game. Um, so all of the conversations in Alpha Protocol are very much once-through conversations. Uh, there's no looping at all. It's much more like a, having a real conversation with somebody without continually asking them questions and having to repeat themselves. And again, uh, the theme of those conversations is to try and maintain a forward momentum and sort of create that sense of urgency when you're dealing with other characters. Um, so I think I'm running out of time here, so I'll run through this really quick. Uh, ultimately, um, the player is allowed to take a series of stances or mood choices when dealing with each character in the game. Uh, and those break down to either being very suave, James Bondy, uh, aggressive like uh, Jack Bauer, being more professional and distant like uh, Jason Bourne, or just going ahead and performing an action when you can to just sort of get to the heart of the matter. Or we just get really tired of a smart ass suspect and you just want to make sure that the bullet in the knee will get them to open up really quickly. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, game mechanics uh, that we introduced in the dialogue system. Uh, we have a lot of reputation tracking for how people feel about you. Uh, there are certain very specific perks uh, that result in special abilities that you get from talking to various people in conversations. And also one big aspect we tried to include in Alpha Protocol was the idea that not only can people research your movements and draw conclusions about you, but you can also uh, research dossier information about them buy that information and then call up that dossier information during a conversation to catch them off their guard or as blackmail or as a way of increasing your leverage with that character. What we wanted to do is make sure the whole idea of espionage and uncovering intel actually played itself out in conversations in the game. Um, so it comes down to uh, the first one is reputation. Um, the idea is that depending how you accomplish certain missions in Alpha Protocol or how you treat certain people, um, all of those have different reputation effects, sometimes with NPCs who haven't even met you yet. Um, this is similar to the influence system that we used in Neverwinter Nights 2 and also in uh, Knights of Republic 2 in terms of how much a character likes you or respects you. 
But the uh, the fundamental flaw with that system, which we tried to collect, tried to correct in Alpha Protocol, was we tried to make sure that if someone has a negative reputation with you because you're behaving a certain way, that actually just gets you different benefits and is just as satisfying as if they like you. Um, so uh, you can gain and lose reputation of the characters over the course of the game. Uh, that can all go from the, the bottom of the barrel hatred all the way up to uh, friendship and romance as an alpha protocol. Um, the whole idea with this was that there are going to be certain NPCs or, or even friends or even seemingly friendly NPCs where it's actually very good to have a bad reputation with them. Uh, and this ties back to my whole hate theme of the presentation where I wanted to make sure that it was actually a game mechanic system where if you enjoyed pissing people off, you got actual reactivity change in the environment that helped you out as a result. As an example, like if you have a really low reputation with a boss, uh, character in Alpha Protocol, and you keep hammering away at his reputation again and again and again, he will actually end up chase, changing his boss battle tactics because he's so mad at you that makes him more vulnerable to your attacks or makes him abandon carefully laid plans that he laid out before. And this is all a way of saying, hey, no matter how you want to react, how, no matter how you want to act as a, as a character in Alpha Protocol, you want to make sure that you're rewarded for how you act. Um, so uh, this may end up being the last thing I'm going to show. Uh, here's an example of a reputation changing conversation uh, that we have in Alpha Protocol. Um, and our hero has arrived in Moscow uh, looking to uncover information on a smuggling operation there. And he ends up encountering one of the, uh, the uh, high profile mercenaries uh, in our game who goes by the name of Z. And I will show you that now. And there's a lot of profanity, for which I sort of apologize. I did not hear you in Moscow. I'm on vacation. So you come here for the scenery? Or are you here to catch a train, darling? No, missed my stop and got off the wrong station. That is true, yes. But we should talk. I do not want to shoot you, as I only have so many bullets. Could have fooled me. I propose a deal. I am here for the same reason you are, to find this Halbeck train. We work together, we both get what we want. Sounds intriguing, but I need to read the fine print. You stay out of the way of my men. They will not shoot you. Oh, so you're here with someone already? Well, that makes things awkward. This station is heavily guarded. We can help each other reach the train. If you cross us, it will only be trouble for you. Hmm. Well, considering you have the drop on me, then I understand your terms, yes. Not a yes, but it is perhaps the best I can expect. We shall see what the future holds then. But for now, it seems we have visitors. So I think uh, I'm getting close to time here. So. Uh... So uh, we had a series of like, standard character sheets and concepts that we set up for each of the characters uh, in Alpha Protocol. Um, we also tried to make sure that uh, there's certain perks and special abilities that you get out of having low and high reputation with certain characters. Uh, dealing with Z in that example for uh, that particular conversation, 
uh, depending on how much uh, she likes you or hates you over the course of the game, whenever she's on your side or helping you out, because sometimes she's forced to, depending on what your, your reputation is with her, it actually gives you different game mechanic bonuses. Um, 